Okay? But these guys, this is really interesting. This is where it gets interesting. You see, uh, the idea is that when you apply an operation, a body operation, okay, it commutes with everything in the projector, the symmetry projector. That's what symmetry is, uh, this global local thing. So this thing can go right on through that projector and sit on this side. Then the mock mock principle tells you that what you're going to get now is the inverse of that in the old laboratory uh, terminology. Okay, so I put a dagger on just for you know, you know, to make it an inverse. These are all unitary, so I can do that. Then I multiply by this thing on the on the right hand side, and I get it's even or odd depending on what the right hand index is. So the mock mock principle is being applied uh, right here, okay, to make this into that. Local G commutes through to the inside and then becomes a G dagger. Okay? So the basic idea is that this index here uh, describes things that are uh, relevant to the laboratory, whereas these things inside here describe things that are relative to the local symmetry of this thing. Local symmetry, which starts with the I3 region here, and then is just propagated all over the whole molecule. And that is a bunch of words that will make sense later. But in any case, if you plug these numbers in, you get plus minus here with a 2, okay, for yy, a 0 here, and then plus minuses uh, over here for uh, the uh, xy. This is the xy uh, thing. So this, this one has anti-symmetry, that's y, both in the uh, uh, laboratory and the body. Now, what does that mean? In both uh, of these cases, uh, first of all, overall, I3, a global symmetry, okay, is minus. Because this goes to minus, this goes to minus, and this goes to minus. But local symmetry, also odd. I flip this one over, it's minus. I flip that one over, it's minus. I flip that one over, it's minus. Okay, this one and this one share or conflict, depending on how you view it, okay? For this one, I have internally anti-symmetry, okay? I'm sorry, symmetry, X is symmetric. So this, flip it over, it's the same. Flip this one over, it's the same. But globally, that's the I3 axis, this goes to minus and minus. So this one gets a minus eigenvalue for uh, the Y symmetry, okay? This one, just the opposites. This one, when I flip the whole thing over, it's symmetric. This matches that, this matches that. Minus, minus, plus, plus. Okay? But internally, it's anti-symmetric. Flip it over, it's anti-symmetric. So internally, it's got Y odd symmetry. Then finally, XX. It's even local, globally, it's even locally. That's a, that's a hell of a lot of information to be getting from uh, just a D3 symmetry. And it took us some doing. Now what's cool about this is that whenever you have a conflict, that is if uh, the global guy is even and the local guy is odd, you got a problem. Because on the axis, the global applies. And the same thing the local does. So the answer is zero right there. And zero right there. There's a conflict. Nothing uh, shows. Okay? Now what happens when you actually look at the eigenfunctions for this thing? This is just explaining external. That's what that stands for. And B stands for body or bod. Okay? Local, label B. External, label E. Okay, here we've got global symmetry. Look at that beautiful thing around that axis. Okay, that's the global axis. Global transformation transforms the whole globe. Okay, it's very symmetric. Okay, 
this one right here is, is zero mod two globally and locally. Okay. Here's a case where the global symmetry is broken. This is bigger or smaller than that one. Okay, that's okay there. Uh, the local local symmetry all symmetric. Okay. Here the local symmetry is broken. Okay, look at that thing. Small, big, small, big. Okay, but the global's fine. And there they're both there. So when this thing actually, um, this is eigenvalues, which we'll get to. When you actually look at the waves, that's what happens. This is a simulation, banded, uh, I'm sorry, board, okay? The old board, we don't have it on the new one yet. But uh, look right here and look right there. In the center uh, a column, uh, you find the wave function. Very small, okay, but you have a, where you have a clash, namely this sort of clash, or this sort of clash, you don't get anything, or much. And that's because local symmetry is something that is uh, kind of broken. The lab's running this show here, so you can expect that the local symmetry uh, is the thing that's going to give if the uh, uh, lab gets uh, too feisty, that it starts cranking these things up or down uh, in, in some way. And so when tunneling uh, is a law allowed, in other words, when the local thing can feel, really feel, the other parts of the globe, you're going to see something pop up uh, there. And if you look really carefully at uh, some of the animations, uh, you'll see it there uh, as well. And uh, that uh, is on the uh, computer here, I hope. Let's see if I can get that. Uh, to show up. Um, let's see if it's going to show up here at all. There we go. I think we're in business. So I'm going to take this thing from uh, which is currently on B and throw it on A and see if I can get uh, uh, this thing to go. There we go. Okay. And let's see if it will start. I will uh, resume. There we go. So that's the A state. That's this guy down here. Okay. We got local symmetry and global. It's the same everywhere. Okay. Perfect A1 symmetry uh, uh, global and locally. Okay. So this is A1. Now, <clears throat> with big barriers, tall barriers, the E waves are really close in energy. They're one pixel splitting here uh, for the E1 level. So what I'm going to do is try to excite uh, the E1 level. <clears throat> but before I do that, I'm going to kill the stuff in the A. And I'm going to put something in there uh, that's got an E1 uh, symmetry. Now this is E1 uh, with C3. Uh, designation. If I want to take a combination of this guy and this guy, I can make something that has uh, C3 local symmetry, and that's what I'm going to try to do here. Let's just see how that works. There we go. Now I have made something that has a C2 local symmetry and C2 global. So I3 axis right through the center. That's what uh, this wave is, right here. That's got an E to XX. Now, um, that means that if I play with this uh, enough, I should be able to kill that um, internal wave there. I'll try this, see if it'll work. Um, I may be... What I really need to do is pause it, I think. But um, let's see what that one gives us. That's not what I wanted. Let me uh, see if I can uh, pause this thing. I will um, see this. Right 
try messing with that right there. Let's see if I can kill that stuff in the center there. Getting close. That's pretty good, I think. Right about there. Okay. Let's see how that works. Resume. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's a case where it's globally anti-symmetric, but locally it's very symmetric. Okay, that's that's this one. Now these are very subtle points, and they're not something that we can do experimentally very easily. So, you know, it's, 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 you're talking about things that are for the future here. Now I can go up and excite the next set of E's, which are right here, and there's an A2 with it that's real close. So the ordering of these things is right. What's not being shown is the fact that these two are really very close in energy. The tunneling is, is um, exponential with the distance across these barriers. It can do more tunneling up here than it can down here. Here it's really deep. So the, the degeneracy is really um, very small. That's uh, less than, well, uh, 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 one pixel, I would say, is a splitting there. Here it's at least three pixels right there. And then as I go up on the next one, there's the actual band splitting right there. We expect that to be fairly large. And then you start to get out of the barrier and you start to, to mix local and global. And by the time you get up in here, uh, it's completely, uh, you've completely broken the local symmetry. Uh, local, local doesn't mean much when you're flying it at, at uh, 40,000 feet over flyover country, right? Who cares about Fayetteville, right? I'm going to LA, man. So that gives you a feeling for what it is to have this uh, technology. These two groups are uh, playing with each other. Uh, and and uh, uh, we'll talk more about that uh, after the break. But this gets you uh, started, at least, in seeing uh, how it all uh, fits together, both the arithmetic and then this mock-mock philosophy, which lets us play these games. Okay. Oh, um, one thing I tried to look for the text for these lectures from the quantum for a mock book, but when I clicked on the link, it went to like, a different chapter. Or, I'm sure if it's actually chapter oh. 13. It goes to TC probably well, knows more about the link error there. Um, I can check real quick for you here, or you can send me the link that did did link correctly. Yeah, we can try anything uh, right yes. here. Yeah, it's just, um, Use, here, let me get out of this one. 